mean energy of a magnetic moment. Consider a single spin one half in contact with the heat reservoir at absolute temperature T. The spin has a magnetic moment mu zero is located in an external magnetic field B. Calculate the partition function of this uh, spin. So uh, we know that uh, for a single spin, the, there are two different values of uh, possible values of the magnetic moment and corresponding energy levels. So if the magnetic moment is uh, minus mu zero uh, and the magnetic field B is uh, pointing up, so it is plus B, the energy would be uh, since the energy is minus mu dot product with b the energy would be for mu equals to minus mu zero e minus that is plus mu zero b and when the magnetic moment is plus mu zero the energy would be minus mu zero b so we see that uh, we have uh, two energy levels plus mu zero b and minus mu zero b so therefore we're ready to write the partition function uh, remember the partition function z is equal to sum over all possible states e to the minus beta energy of the state e, e sub r and beta is 1 over kt so if we do this for these two energy levels we will find that the partition function is uh, z is equal to e to the uh, minus beta er so for plus state it would be a minus minus mu zero b plus mu zero b so it's e to the beta mu zero b and the other term would be e to the minus beta mu zero b when the energy is plus mu zero b e to the minus energy so minus mu zero b times beta so this would be the partition function part b using your result for c and apply the general relation of problem 418 to obtain the mean energy okay so the mean energy e bar is given as minus derivative of natural logarithm of the partition function with respect to beta which is minus 1 over z del z del beta so this is what we know from problem 4.80 so this is the result from 4.80 now uh, if I take the derivative of the partition function with respect to beta, what do I find? The first term will be derivative of beta mu zero b with respect to beta, that is mu zero b, so e to the beta mu zero b. The second term will be minus uh, mu zero b, e to the minus beta mu zero b so the answer would be for the, the derivative uh, mu zero b parentheses e to the beta mu zero b minus e to the minus beta mu zero b so if i uh, continue with the uh, mean energy so the mean energy was uh, one over z minus 1 over z del z del beta so we have minus 1 over e to the uh, beta mu 0 b plus e to the minus beta mu 0 b that's our partition function and then for the derivative of uh, del z del beta mu 0 b e to the beta mu zero b minus e to the minus beta mu zero b so we see that 
we have in minus uh, mu zero b parentheses uh, e to the beta mu zero b minus e to the minus beta mu zero b divided by e to the beta mu zero b plus e to the minus beta mu zero b so we see that we have the tangent hyperbolic here so this is in the form e to the x minus e to the minus x divided by e to the x plus e to the minus x which is tangent hyperbolic x so the mean energy we find to be uh, minus mu zero b tangent hyperbolic x where x is uh, beta mu zero b or mu zero b divided by k t Verify that your expression for E bar satisfies the expression E bar is equal to minus mu bar B where mu bar is the mean value is the value of the mean component of the magnetic moment. Uh, so C I can see that uh, E bar is equal to minus B times mu zero tangent hyperbolic mu zero b divided by kt so uh, the term in parentheses this must be equal to mu bar so let's calculate mu bar mu bar is equal to uh, so it can have two values mu plus mu zero and minus mu zero it can be plus mu zero e to the minus uh, the canonical distribution will give me e to the uh, since the energy is minus mu zero b e to the plus beta uh, mu zero b and then it can be minus mu zero e to the minus beta mu zero b divided by the partition function z so you can see that this is mu zero uh, <coughs> e to the beta mu zero b minus e to the minus beta mu zero b divided by uh, e to the beta mu zero b plus e to the minus beta mu zero b which is mu zero tangent hyperbolic mu zero b divided by kt so this is indeed mu bar so e bar is equal to minus b times mu bar as suggested by the problem statement okay so uh, and this is expected because energy is minus the dot product of mu with b if you look at the up component uh, of the mu it would be minus mu bar b Okay, so uh, we're considering a single spin one half in contact with a heat reservoir at absolute temperature T. We calculated the partition function uh, in the presence of a magnetic field that's pointing out. Two possible values of magnetic moment are minus mu zero and plus mu zero. Corresponding energy is plus mu zero B minus mu zero B and partition function sum over all possible states e to the minus beta energy of individual states so this e to the minus beta er is e to the minus beta e plus which is e to the beta mu zero b plus e to the minus beta e minus which is e to the minus beta mu zero b and we take the derivative of natural logarithm with respect to beta with a minus sign that gives us e bar that's the result of problem 4.18 and we find that uh, the answer is minus mu zero b tangent hyperbolic mu zero b over kt taking this into b parentheses the term uh, minus b parentheses the term uh, we have inside the parentheses we have verified to be equal to 
mu bar. So it is E bar is equal to uh, minus mu bar B uh, as suggested in the problem statement.